as uh, as the industry grows, as uh, your company grows, and, and many other uh, IT industry uh, companies grows, you need more more people. So who who can train these these young people to come into the industry? Is it the universities and school, or or does the industry need to also train people? Uh, this is a global challenge. Mm. I think in most of the countries they have this challenge. How to um, to form a lot of people to to enter in the market. Uh, specifically for Stefanini, what do we do? We have some development centers or services IT centers inside the university. It's different from the, it's not so common in Brazil, this model, but we have this, mm -hmm. we have a very good experience uh, having some uh, delivery center uh, inside the university. So you, so you hire people while they're still students? Yes, and right. uh, we have an office inside the campus university. Right. It's easier to hire people, this one. Of course, we have a very good trainee, uh, 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 trainee, um, trainee, how can I say, forgot the English. Yeah. Uh, program? Yes, course. trainee program, yeah. of course. And this is one. Another that we have a very good uh, recruitment model, is very important, recruitment process. Mm. We can recruit people not only in Brazil, in Latin America, mm. in uh, other countries, that is very important because we are following where the talents are, right. not only in Brazil, mm. Argentina, Mexico, Peru, India, you know. that is the second, that the first is trainee program or uh, recruiting people from universities, the second is recruiting people where the talents are, and the third, we have a very strong program to recycle to retraining people in new technologies. Mm. That, for example, there are some people that uh, is a very good program, but uh, we, we need to refresh them mm. in new technologies and others. That if you add these three, these three fronts or these three strategies, we usually we are successful in, in providing good people for our clients. Right, right. Okay, so and also you hire in India. What what was the reason for your strategy uh, in, uh, in in having development in India? Okay. As uh, I told you that uh, we think that our, our Brazilian or Latin America offering is uh, is not is alternative for me, not competing. We understand that there are some there are some services that uh, uh, Indian uh, offering is more competitive. For example, if you need the services, then we need more junior people, beginners, in large scale of people. We think that uh, India is better. Okay. That uh, the idea is depends on the. Uh, clients culture, for example, UK, they are they are used more to work in India. Mm. If you talk about Spanish people or French or Italian, Italian, they are not so used to work with uh, mm. uh, India. Then we can balance. Depends on the culture, the clients culture, the the, uh, the country. The second depends on the scale. Mm. Depending on the skills, it depends on the service. For example, there are some. For example, if you are talking about testing, mm. I think testing is a very good in, in India because it's a very well processed, yeah. very well structured service. Mm. The Indian people follow very well the the, the process. Yeah. It's different. For example, if you are offering development mm. for a software company, that the, the people can must be more creative. Yeah. Then Brazil can be that Brazilian people can be better. Mm -hmm. That depends on the what the clients need. We can balance from Latin America or from India. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And so I then, answer? Yeah, that, that's perfect. And I mean, then if you look forward into the future, how how well is uh, Brazil positioned? You know what. You think that, say, Brascom has a good strategy? How, how do you see Brazil IT growing in the future? Uh, I, I always believe 
that uh, Brazilian skills, they, are, they, they have a very good capabilities, they, they are good people, professional people, and of course we have to choose uh, what the niche that we can work because we are not so cheap as in that we have to be successful to choose where we can be uh, or we can have better proposition mm. and uh, that is more or less that I have already explained to you that I believe that we can we have a uh, space we have a uh, some niche that can be very successful and I hope that in three or five years, not a long term, in a medium term, mm. that I think that we can we can be a very well known um, IT sourcing country. Yeah.